today the main concern is in Asia. Uh, since last summer, uh, with the first outbreaks uh, identified and uh, notified in, in China, and now progressively, more countries uh, such as Vietnam or Laos, Cambodia, North Korea uh, are infected. And that is true that the situation is a little tricky in, in Asia now. Um, now, why is this illness so difficult to contain? Um, they say that you will need at least two to ten years to maybe to find a way to uh, contain the virus. Why is it so difficult? That is very difficult to contain and probably the first reason is because we don't have vaccine. When you have a vaccine, immediately you can organize large-scale vaccination campaign. That is not the case here. But therefore, you have, as I say, to control everything. But that is something important. The second reason is because the virus is also very resistant in the natural environment. So therefore, even if you clean a farm, it's not very well done. You could reinfect uh, the next uh, uh, band of animals. So therefore, all these things mean that at the end, controlling the disease could take time, particularly in countries where uh, people, farmers are not well informed when good practices and best practices at farm level are not so well developed, uh, not so well considered. So therefore, um, you need, in addition to the control, you need also awareness and education of people. Yeah. Now, uh, the World Organization for Animal Health is, of course, very active to find a solution. Um, what are, you, are the concrete measures or the, the um, uh, measures you have taken or going to be taken by the uh, World Health Organization for Animals? The first uh, objective is really to encourage the countries to be transparent, to share the information of their domestic situation with the neighboring countries and with other uh, countries, because we cannot control such a disease without a good information on what is really the situation on the field. So therefore, transparency and trust between partners is something important. That is why we organize always platform in order that uh, member countries around the table could uh, share and be less shy uh, when they have to, to share this information. But on the other hand, of course, we have also to develop, and jointly uh, with um, FAO, we have also to develop a uh, capacity building program in order to provide the needed support to the member countries so that they could also develop their own tools and means to better control the disease. Yeah. Are you also directing maybe the investigation and research for a potential vaccine? Yes, of course. Research for a vaccine is something important. Unfortunately, for several years, uh, numerous scientific uh, team uh, tried to develop a vaccine. That seems not to be easy uh, because the virus is a little complex, but perhaps uh, and hopefully very soon we could have one. Yeah. Um, now, last question, uh, what are, how are the countries uh, responding to the, um, to the, pand well, the pandemic, to the virus uh, currently? And, and do you think it's enough or should some countries do more and or others are doing already enough? I do believe that the countries do what they can according to their resources. And unfortunately, in some countries, the resources are poor. Uh, so that is why the international community and uh, countries we are rich enough should really uh, provide support directly or indirectly uh, through uh, technical assistance or by funding international organization so that we could really provide the needed support to this country so that tomorrow they could be more able uh, to control the disease.